In this video tutorial, I will be showing you the very basic watercolor botanical painting technique on rose petals. Welcome to Rose Petal painting tutorial. I have here four different shapes and uh, colors of rose petals, which I will be painting. I think this one, this one, and the third one was the fourth one was here. I have them. We will start with this one using, we'll be using permanent rose. So I'm loading my brush and putting color on the palette. Also, I can see that there are very dark reddish edges. And for that, I'm taking pearl and maroon with a mix of pearl and violet. This will be a really dark one. Yep, great. First of all, I apply water to this petal. Quite enough for pigment to flow freely, but not too much, so that it's not dripping or flowing away from the paper. Now taking my permanent rose and applying to the edges where I can see is the darkest part. Carefully with the edges. This is the very basic of watercolor botanical painting and it goes to the middle a little bit and more to the edges my area surface is wet now I'm taking washing my brush wiping off the excess amount of water and smoothing and wiping out the these uncontrolled flows of the pigment I can wipe out I can move it while my surface is wet I can work with it quite freely if something goes to too much of where it shouldn't be going I'm wiping it out with a clean and dry brush now I'm taking this darker mix the surface is still wet and I'm applying to the edges where is that darker area Now I have a little bit of lemon yellow at the very base where petal is attached to flower head. And again, smoothing, blending carefully. Now 
Now I will leave it to rest, to dry, to apply other layers. First I needed this petal to let dry completely. For the second rose petal, I will be using Indian yellow. with a touch of light red from Windsor & Newton. And the base will be lemon yellow. As I can see, there are a lot of lemon yellow. Again, first we apply water. Oh. To the surface starting with lemon yellow at the very base I'm going freely with lemon yellow all the way because there is a lot of yellow color. Then applying darker. Looking at my reference. Where's the darker mix? where it goes lighter washing my brush and carefully again smoothing moving where I need it And taking more darker light red while the surface is still wet. I can make some adjustments. This part is more exposed to light. And also we'll continue working when the when it will dry completely. For the third one, I will take Alizar uh, so sorry Senalia red mixed with Perlin Violet and that will go for the darker area and for the lighter parts Senalia Red with Indian Yellow I see there's a lot of yellow there Maybe pearl and maroon to spice things up and some clear Sennelia red. Okay, first water the surface. Taking lemon yellow first, which goes to the base. 
freely spreading it around because there is this yellow tone which is visible through that red try to notice these different colors in your subjects you will make more richer and vibrant painting if you see that there is not just red there is red violet and yellow and some maroon now i'm taking this half tone and we'll start with the shadow area which is in the shadow this one is, is in totally in shadow then this edge is in shadow and slowly going this edge and taking Sennelier red for these areas see quite watery quite intense because there's a little very rich in color this petal is now we'll take the darkest one add it where it should be going and carefully while the area is still wet i can spread it wherever i need it And with a clean dry brush, we'll take away these and this one is in light and this one needs more space here. And I can see that this edge here is also darker. There is a fold and there's a light area. And the fourth one, watering surface. I'm still working first layer, so I'm always working with simple round synthetic brush. Nothing fancy, nothing too expensive, just simple synthetic brush. First I'm taking lemon yellow to the base and freely spreading it around because there's a lot of yellows and now taking darker mix applying it where it needed it goes here then it goes here Then goes the edges as they roll. And also this one is taking out, wiping out with a clean and dry brush. This is the middle part as well as here I can see there's also some red reddish perlin reddish I will add a little bit Carefully taking it out and more of light red pigment here as this one is in the shadow and as well as here and here.
looking at reference, comparing if I noticed everything that that is needed. This is a very quick first layer wash, which is also already um, showed showing where are lights, where are darks, and that now it's more easier to work further with the next layers. Now I'm taking a more thinner, finer point brush. This is synthetic and getting back to the first one. Now I can also watering a little bit of upper surface, taking darker mix and carefully applying to the edges where is the darker tone sitting again if i need it with a clean and dry brush i can wipe out and smooth out applied color and Add some tone with the brush strokes. With a clean brush, I can smooth them out if I need. And again, if needed, taking darker mix to that those areas which need more intensity. In this petal case, the lower part of it is a bit damaged with some kind of i don't know or it's already fading rose so there are some flaws in but i will add them they will make a little interesting things also creates realistic when you add small tiny flaws de like details then in those there is a bit of realism in that Then there is a white space which is in the shadow and it appears here um, gray. How to get gray? I will take this pink color which I have for the base. I will add a little bit of French ultramarine and a little bit of yellow too much of all of those again a little bit of french ultramarine and now i have checking i have pale gray gray tone and i can add it here to the area which is white area which is in the shadow like that like smoothing a bit this part And again, more intensity to the edges. And smooth out. Like that.
And now my brush strokes are going to the center, creating more texture, more like petal veins, and adding intensity where it is required. Taking cl clean perlin maroon to make it more intense now that's a thing carefully smoothing out careful with the edges I always draw them smaller than my reference because I know that I will go over the edges and by the end of the painting my painting will be as needed. <laughs> I will leave this petal to rest. Come back a little bit later, like that, maybe a little bit brush strokes here and there. Like that. Now getting to this one. And adding intensity where it is needed. Applying color, smoothing out with a clean and dry brush. Again, like in this place, applying color, watching, looking at the reference, and smoothing out. Here I can see that these edges are also in shadow because they are rolling, the rose petal is rolling. And there is this thing in shadow. This the same goes with this one. I'm getting more intensity to this area which is in the shadow. Now to this one. Taking more intensity here. Applying. And as well as here. And smoothing out what just been applied smooth out Everything continues 
the same technique goes over and over. This tutorial is about the basics, what I use in my paintings. I'm not here going more too much in detailing, just to show you the basic steps. Apply color and smooth out with a clean brush. I'm going back to this one again more intensity to the shadow area smooth out applied color more intensity where it needed Always leave the white areas wider than they appear in your reference. You will go over them for sure. And now I have the second layer in place. And the technique uh, continues and I will do again and again apply layer after layer till I get the intensity that I need it's not good and it will not get you good results if you will go straight in the first layer with the very intense color you can only make it look flat if you will do the really big and intense brush strokes in the first layers your painting will look flat, not realistic. You will not get that fullness which you see in realistic botanical illustrations. Now I'm going over with a pink wash because I can see that there's not so many pinks which I need. We'll let it rest again, going with some darker tone where I need it, and slowly, layer after layer, I'm applying color. Smoothing my brush strokes. After some third and fifth layer, I can start adding details, patterns, taking care of the edges. There should be really crisp and sharp. slowly building layers layer after layer carefully observing your reference And build your painting see how far can you go push yourself challenge yourself and that's it for today's this small video tutorial thanks for watching see you in my next videos